Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for another rummage through a small handful of Com C pickups. Got so much of this stuff laying around from years of uh, picking up singles on Com C and grabbed another, I think this was a dozen or so cards. Most of these are from newer orders, so they still have the little white paper behind them. Uh, others are a little bit older and, and lack that, but I got about a dozen here in total. And let's see what I what I pulled. So first up, this is uh, not really too notable a card, but this is from the uh, lone standalone Panini Prism hockey release in 2013. Mentioned this many times. I've shown off a lot of the colored parallels, but I have been working on building a base set, um, have the short set completed, and still working on some of the short printed rookie cards. And Maxwell Reinhardt here was one of those that I needed for that set build, so not a whole lot of backstory to that card. Other than that, um, this one I pulled out of my uh, little chest here. I'll tilt the camera, but in the corner over here, I've got this uh, chest that is uh, was a sewing needle chest back in the day, and I use it now to uh, house a lot of my Com C cards that I've picked up in the past and haven't processed through yet. And uh, so I pulled this one out of there. So I most likely picked up this card, you know, years ago. And it's not a card that I would buy today. This is when I was in my Red Sox team collecting phase, wanted any and every Red Sox card that I didn't already own. So I shelled out for this late career Cliff Floyd Diamond Standouts um, insert, courtesy of Fleer Tradition. And I most likely grabbed this because it is serial numbered out of 200. Um, and actually, I misspoke. This does not look like an insert. This looks like a regular update, Fleer Tradition update card. This is probably the glossy front, and it is. So yeah, this is the glossy parallel, which is numbered out of 200. So just a cheap serial numbered card there that I grabbed for the Sox PC, and uh, wouldn't necessarily buy that one today, if I'm being totally honest. Here's one that I would buy today, though. A nice 58 Tops Turk Loan. The Chicago Cubs love the 58 release, the bold colors. Um, I am sort of, I guess, slowly working on a set and that I do pick these up from time to time, but it's very far down the list of sets that I would pursue. But I saw this one in good condition at a good price for under a dollar. Scooped it up. Here's a quick Xander add to that player collection of his. This is out of Topps Total. It's one of the recent total cards. Looks like 2019, um, where this is basically an online only release. I wish they would pack issue this. Uh, really a fan of Topps Total and the fact that every player gets uh, a shot at the checklist. I just really enjoy that set for that reason. But uh, as it stands for now, that's an online only release. Here's a buyback. And very obvious why I chose this Dick Schofield. He was needed for my 1990 Tops all buyback set that I am crazily pursuing. Card number 189 was a need for that pursuit and uh, bought this home, if memory serves, for about 70 cents, which is, you know, not a great deal. But um, if I can fill a hole in that very, very tough set pursuit for less than a dollar, I'm generally game. Here's a great canvas insert of Sid the Kid, Sidney Crosby. How about that for a post-goal celebration shot? That is a perfect example of why I find the canvas inserts to be some of the more beautiful ones that are released in the hockey realm year after year. And got this dirt cheap courtesy of the EPAC promotion between Upper Deck and Com C. It's going to go into my Z Folio. Speaking of Z-Folio food, here is a 2012 Topps Chrome Purple Refractor. Don't really care about Josh Johnson, not really a Marlins fan, but grab this because I did get a very cheap starter lot of 2012 Topps Chrome Purple Refractors a while back and stashed all of those in my shiny purple Z-Folio. And so Josh here was one of the cards that was not included in that starter lot and picked that up for something like 40 cents. I forget exactly, but it was under 50 cents. Uh, another shiny one here. I showed a uh, Pat Kane from one of these uh, these insert sets, but this is an Opeachy Platinum rainbow color wheel of a guy that I am very high on in the modern NHL, Sebastian Ajo. Uh, I believe he's out of Finland. Um, yep. 
realm of Finland. And he's a young kid. He's only been in the league, as you can see on the back here, since the 2016-17 season. Um, but you can see a pattern of improvement here uh, from 24 goals to 29 goals to 30 goals, 25 assists to 36 assists to 53 assists. And in turn, his point total has risen from 49 to 65 to 83 points over his first three years in the league. Still a very young kid, a proven leader, and a hugely valuable member of the Carolina Hurricanes Club. So I do search out Ajo cards by name every so often on Com C. I think he is a solid buy in the modern NHL as far as like those second tier players that are below a, you know, McDavid, Ovechkin, Crosby level. You could do a lot worse than Sebastian Ajo. That's a neat one there. Uh, here's a 1971 Nelson Bryles. Why would I buy a 1971 Nelson Bryles, you may be asking? Because this has one of the greatest card backs in the history of baseball cards, the 1971 Opeachy floating head back. Man, I wish the 71 top set had these backs, but uh, very grateful that at least the Opeachy release does and happy to scoop up any of these that I can find at a reasonable rate. Uh, I mean, the front's nice as well. I, I do like the 71, you know, tops design with the black border. But, you know, the reason I seek out these Opeaches is just because the, the backs are absolutely glorious. This is a top 10 all-time design on a baseball card back, if you ask me. In fact, we're going to display the back up, up here instead of the front for a change. So Nelson Bryles. Uh, just a couple more here. This one was picked up for the football card Z Folio. Guy who uh, did a lot for the New England Patriots, but is pictured here with the New York Jets. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Curtis Martin. And uh, grab this just because I am obsessed with Panini etched shiny cards. And this select silver prism was like 70 cents or something like that. And uh, did need uh, some more cards to slowly fill up that football only Z folio that I'm working on, and uh, that one fit the bill. Uh, here's a neat one. So you can't really tell this, obviously, on video, but um, this card is a leaf steel mini, and it is actually made of metal. You know, it's a very solid card. It's got some weight to it, rounded corners. Um, you can actually see on the back where they sort of bent the metal around the sides of the card to produce this. Um, really cool. I forget where I saw this. It might have been Four Leaf Cards YouTube channel or somewhere I, I watched a video where somebody was showing some of these leaf steels off from Com C and commented on sort of the weight of them and wanted to check one out for myself. Um, this was very, very cheap and kind of a cool sort of oddball set there from the 90s. And last but not least, we have one of my favorite types of cards, Topps Chrome Sapphire. Got the Big Poppy from the 2010 Home Run Derby out of the 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire update release. This was criminally priced at like $1.10 or something like that. But um, yeah, a little bit of foreshadowing here. I have a really cool David Ortiz Sapphire card that'll be coming in a future episode, but uh, for now, you get this cheapie that was a little over a dollar. So there you have it. Just another dozen cards from uh, what I personally find to be one of the more addicting online sites for sports card shopping. Hope you enjoyed looking at some of my Com C pickups. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope everybody is enjoying the hobby as well. And I will certainly be back in the near future with some more sports card content. Until then, take care.